Hello and welcome to another Warsaw Duel. This one between Eldritch and Inane on WF DM2. And Eldritch. We're going to be starting out on Eldritch here. Who's picked up a good amount of weapons and going to be just floating around. Picks up that first armor, first mega health. Heads over to pick up the yellow armor. Gets a fight in the middle. Nice little fighting place, this middle area. The red's been taken. He knows that. He knows what his opponent's playing with. He knows his opponent can't have a lot of health right now. This is some really nice movement, though, from these players. That was a nice shot. He didn't pick up the red. Didn't even pick it up. He's not going to be able to go through. He's got to be careful here. He's got very low health. He did get the red, so that puts him in a bit of a better position. Now picking up that armor. Going to be floating around the map pretty nicely. Heading over. Oh, that was a very nice rail. Really well predicted. He's going to pull out there. And now looking for the frag to actually capitalize on this amazing play and this amazing map control bumping in midair manages to get the lead there's the first lead first frag of the game in a now gets the second frag tying it up heads over gonna pick up this red doesn't have very many weapons in fact only has two rail shots left on the electro bolt hits the first one hits the second one two for two who needs anything more when you've got that not sure if he saw the guy going past. Eldritch must have a less of an FOV than 130. So I saw him go past in the back corner. And now gets that mega. Eldritch picks up the kill from it. Two to one. This is a pretty close game so far. Eldritch has the weapons that he needs. He's going to have the armor now. He needs to pick up a little bit of health though. Could have done with going down for that health bubble at the bottom. Looking for five seconds on the mega health and he's got that timing he's in the right position he sees it spawn he grabs it and gets the fuck out of there now getting a nice rail just watching around oh and a beautiful rail shot to finish that off that was absolutely glorious right there i don't think that inane had very much health left or any ammo in fact since the ammo wasn't picked up only nine only nine shots left in that gun. Grabbing the health. It gets railed in the process. Going to be able to pick up the green to just get a little bit more health back. Inane getting a lot of good spam off. Five seconds left on this red, but they're both in the area. I think one of them's going to go down before the red comes up. And a rail... A rocket to rail goes off. But what is Inane, or uh, sorry, Eldritch doing? Played it round. He's made him think that he's picked that item up before. He's gone around and he's gone back around to try and get both of the items. Making Inane think he's got no health. Unfortunately, Inane was able to pick up the frag there. Eldritch now very low. That Mega's just come up. He's going to grab it with Inane. Two to four the score line. So Inane, he's got a bit left to do, but he's going to go down. He's going to have to play a little bit slower for a second while he catches back up. But he's not going to go slower. He's going to push in harder. That was unexpected entirely. And I think that was entirely unexpected from Eldritch because that's why he went down. But came out of it with too little health to really do anything. One second left. That respawned and Eldritch didn't know about it. He's now going to chase down in aim. Both players moving incredibly well. Both players have really good movement in this game. Now Eldritch has seen that that weapon's up but he's going to have to be careful because in aim might be coming around the corner. He uses a beautiful jump but just messes it up at the last minute. That's... Wow, these guys have got some high level movement. This is definitely a high level game of Warfork. These guys have played enough games. Now Apo was... Oh, okay then. Oh yes, Eldritch is nutter. Alright, that's why. I didn't know either of these two guys, but this is nutter. So this is definitely going to be good, guys. Nutter is an absolutely amazing Warso player and a really good CPM player.
picking up these items. You know he's got the timing on them. You know he's got the feel of the movement now. He's back in his element. He's an incredibly quick player, Eldritch. He's just going to have to show that off. He's got a one frag lead. If he can hit this rail, both of them think they can connect him. Nutter survives the rail. No more rails for inane though. He's going to have to wait 15 seconds for that mega armor to come, mega health to come back up. But he grabs the red armor. And Nutter going to be doing a lot of damage. He's only got five health left, and he manages to take him out. Heading back over to Nutter, Eldritch, the Eldritch Horror from Scotland. That mega health is up. Grabs it. Five to four gets railed from behind. I think just there. It seemed to get thrown off of his move to jump up. So I believe he did get railed. Getting that timing. Doesn't go for it instantly because he sees his opponent up there. Misses that one. That was an interesting uh, change of jump there. Should, should have been able to pick that up much before he just did. And he's actually given away the red armor to inane. By missing a couple of those jumps. That's going to set him off slightly. He's not going to be able to concentrate perfectly right now. Because of that. Getting a little zipped and zapped by an LG. But not too much damage dealt there. Five seconds until that reds up. He doesn't know the timing on it remember. Because he did duck the hell out of there. He's going to go over. He picks up some more armour for that rail. And now both of the major items are up. Nutter grabs that red. Inane's going to pick up the mega health. For Nutter, this is going to be an interesting fight. Gets one rail. He's got an incredible amount of rail aim. And he's going to finish him with the rail as well. Very nice shot. He should be able to double frag there. He gets the second frag. He needs this 50 health. Grabs it. Doesn't get railed. Just avoids it. He does get railed on the teleporter exit though. Both these guys must know this map really well if they're playing to the teleporter exits. Now the red armor's up, grabs it, heads over. We've now got the, uh, the mega health. So Nutter should be going over there. That was a self-grenade frag. So Eldritch now pushing a 10 to 4 advantage. He's pushing it even further now though. Gets another kill. Gonna be picking up. He stops for a second. Goes to change a... Uh, Console variable there. Interesting. Middle of the way. Gets the gunblade kill. The gunblade in this game can be used as a melee weapon if you're close enough to someone. Otherwise, it's a blaster. It can make you jump. Keep pressing the wrong button. Jump through that. Eldritch here. Oh, that was a beautiful shot from Inane. He's going to pick that up. He's only got a tiny amount of health left. He's going to need to pick up some... Ammo. He hasn't got the gun for that though. He doesn't actually have the lightning gun. He's going to need to pick that up. Beautiful double rail right there. The accuracy on that one. 20 seconds though. I believe that Eldritch must have picked that up. 10 seconds on the mega health. These players have lost timings on some of the items at this late stage in the game. Eldritch making a beautiful move for it. I think he figures it's up about now, trying to get just something in. If he can pick up this health, he's going to get killed and he's not going to get the health. That's not looking good, but he's going to get that armor, I think. Oh no, he just missed it. This is incredible for Inane. He's playing absolutely brilliantly right now. He's hitting his shots. He's pulling this back. There's a five frag difference and it's a minute left to go. But that's doable in this game. This game moves so fast that that is entirely doable. Eldritch goes down. He's going to need to do something to stop this. But he is just playing the plus back game. He's running away. He's trying not to get into any fights. He's trying to pick up the items where he doesn't have to. You see he's not pushing this. He knows he's got the win. He knows he just has to survive. Whereas Inane has to push everything. If Inane dies at any point right now. Every armour... Every little bubble of health that Eldritch is able to pick up is a massive disadvantage to Inane because it means he's got to do just that little bit more damage and there's only 30 seconds left to do it in. These will be the last items. There will be one more, but it'll only be at one second left will be the next and final red. Nobody's going to pick that up, I don't think. 
The Mega Health will absolutely be the last one, and that one's coming up at very late in the game. There'll only be a few seconds. It'll only happen if they happen to be fighting around there. They're both going to duck out of there. Eldritch, he picks up one. That's going to do it. He's got it. He picks up another grenade kill. Three seconds left to go. There it is. 15 to 11. Eldritch slash Nutter takes it over in Ain. An incredible game right down to the last second.